Welcome to lesson two of unit one of Intermediate Web Design. Like most programming languages, JavaScript includes functions, objects, and arrays. Functions are compartmentalized reusable scripts that you can call in a manner of ways. Objects have properties that can be modified with methods. Arrays are a type of object similar to a variable, but arrays can hold multiple values. JavaScript functions. One use of functions is to do a job that we anticipate we'll need to do more than once in a document, such as arithmetic on a number of values. We can call the function at a particular place in our code or with an event such as the click of a mouse button. The function can be reused with different values each time. These values are called arguments. Syntax for functions in JavaScript. First of all, we have the keyword function the function name, which follows the same rules as a variable name, no spaces, special characters, etc. Optional parameters enclosed in brackets. Depending on the function, parameters may not be necessary. And then lastly, we have a code to execute in curly brackets. Let's try out an example. Add this code between some script tags in an HTML document named example.html or some such thing. Add your own comments to describe to yourself what is happening in each line of code. The ABC inside the brackets are known as parameters. The function stops executing once it reaches that return statement. The result of the return statement is returned back to the caller. In this case, the document.write is the caller. The 12, 8, and 4 inside the brackets are known as arguments. You can invoke the function multiple times with different arguments, as I've done with that second document.write expression. I like to think of the parameter names, ABC in this case, as variable names, and the same rules apply, and the arguments, 12, 8, 4, and 10, 2, 5 in this case, as the variable values. JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language. Objects are like variables, but with multiple names and values. These name-value pairs are known as properties. Objects utilize something called methods, which are functions placed inside properties. You can think of objects as a container for any number of variables and any number of functions that act on those variables. We access the properties of an object with object name dot property with the property name in brackets. We access the methods with object name dot method name with optional parameters in brackets. Let's try out an example. Add it to your example.html file. As you see, an object is created much like a variable, but with curly brackets. The object properties are name value pairs. The properties are separated by commas. White space doesn't matter. You can put each name value pair on its own line if you like. The methods are also name value pairs, but with the function keyword plus the function code in the place of the value. And you can see how we access the properties and methods in the code. Arrays are objects with slightly different syntax, square brackets instead of curly brackets, no name value pairs, just values. You access the array values with an index number. Arrays have a number of methods available as well, such as sort. Let's try out an example. Add the code to your example.html file. We have an array named fruits with some string values. These values could be numbers or boolean or a mixture of all three, however. We're using the built-in sort and reverse methods to rearrange the values of the array. We're displaying all array values with the array name. We're accessing the third item in the newly sorted list of values, which is grape. It would be strawberry if we didn't use the reverse method in the previous line. We'll see some industry standard examples of functions and objects when we put all of our PHP, MySQL, and JavaScript to use in the application we build later on. Try out these exercises. They will help cement your understanding of functions, objects, and arrays.